I cut the frame again.
All right, so I got the front end back together now, and I'm really happy with how it's sitting, much happier than I was before. Reversing that main leaf was, I think, the best way to get about an inch, inch and a half drop out of the front. That combined with moving the front of the frame up a little bit, and I also removed the top two leaves out of that spring. Now it's sitting pretty much right where I want it. I might actually end up adding those back in um, once I put the engine in and see how much it compresses. But for now, that will work out just fine. What I'm going to do now is take everything apart again, and I'm going to put the frame back up on the table here since it's all still just tacked together. Um, I'm going to put it back on the table one last time, make sure everything's straight and level, and then I'll weld it up completely, and then I can put it back together. Okay, well, I didn't film anything. I've just been trying to get this done as efficiently as I can. It's 3 a.m. right now, and the welder is 99% out of gas. But I got the frame all welded together as straight as I can make it. When I put it up on this table initially, it had a noticeable twist to it. Um, like It was actually twisted. So what I had to do was I had to cut the tacks that I had made at this bend, this bend, and that bend right there and then I could clamp the center section down and then bend the front and back back to level. What I did up here to make sure that this point didn't move was I welded this piece to the table there that comes up inside the cross member that way this stays at the same height and it won't affect my front suspension or at least it shouldn't. Um, but yeah pretty simple I got all it welded up all the welds dressed there um, so it's everything's nice and smooth and it looks just like it did before except about four to five inches lower So I'm finally going to take this frame back now put the suspension back in and get back to a rolling chassis Hopefully this is the last time I have to do that Alright, well, it was three very long days of work to get to this point from where it was before, but I think it was worth it. The chassis now is sitting just like I want it to. It's lowered almost five inches. Beforehand, the bottom of the frame row was above the center line of the axle. It's much, much lower now. Not low enough that ground clearance is going to be an issue yet. I think there's going to be plenty of room to work that out. Next thing is to modify the wooden buck to fit this new frame. Um, shouldn't be too challenging. It's just going to have to be shortened and then lowered a little bit. And then I can get on to making the aluminum body. My new, the lower anvils for the English wheel should be in pretty soon. And I can get on that within the next week or two. So that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.